This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween. Well, technically it's mid-September, but in the world of capitalist marketing, that's close enough to the nearest holiday to start selling stuff with pumpkin faces and pumpkin spice flavoring and apple cinnamon fragrances. It's one of my favorite times of year. It's the best time to go grocery shopping, which is exactly what I did yesterday. I went to Target and I picked up all of the latest Halloween and fall flavored treats so that we can dive in and see which pumpkin spice newness or other autumnal flavors are worth our money. I'm ready for a stomach ache, are you? Because there's a lot of chocolate in here, there's a lot of out of left field kind of pumpkin things. Are you ready to crunch some spooky snacks? Then make sure you stay tuned because we're getting into some crazy new treats today, okay? Stay scary, my friends. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. I just realized I forgot to put powder on, which is why you can see the reflection of the world inside of my forehead. Hold on. This is Halloween, Halloween. That's not from Nightmare Before Christmas, okay? Don't copyright strike me for that performance. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me once again on my channel for today's Halloween treat taste test. We've had plenty of Halloween foods on the channel before. I remember my first pumpkin spice food taste test like two apartments ago. Maybe you guys remember too, but the pumpkin spice realness has only increased over the last two years, okay? We thought it was crazy before with the chewing gum. Have you had pumpkin spice Cheerios? Well, you're about to, baby girl. But first, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more Halloween content, because the season is early on, okay? I'm just getting started. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks just like that over there. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So, if you don't join the Nick D. Crew by clicking subscribe and turning on your notification. Ow, there's a candle there. Then you're gonna miss all the fun new stuff, okay? All right, gang, it's time to get eating, you know? I gotta be honest, there's more to the story. We purchased a lot of treats that I wanted to have right away, that we wanted to dive into immediately, so I already know what it feels like to be full of fall-flavored crap, okay? It's not good, so I'm expecting us to end up in a really sickly place by the end of this video because there's not a thing here that I don't wanna try. And knowing me and portion sizes, I'm gonna eat like a full serving of everything. It's gonna be rough. But luckily, my first item on the list was this cinnamon apple cider candle that I lit right at the beginning. It's smelling like cinnamon apple picking, which is one of my favorite fall activities. I grew up in New Hampshire, so apple picking is like a real option there. And we would make a fresh apple pie after. Hi mom, I miss you. Okay, what should we crack open first? When's my laundry gonna be done? 48 seconds, gee whiz, timing is weird. I guess we can start small with these pumpkin spice flavored pretzels. Now, just like one of my favorite snack foods is yogurt covered pretzels or chocolate covered pretzels. And so this kind of takes that with, it's a take on that because these have a white fudge coating flavored with harvest spices. Pretzel twist. A delicious fall treat for parties. Let's start by smelling it. Ooh, it smells like a pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. Yeah, a lot of pumpkin spice in there. Let's get one out on the face. Ooh, do you love a bright orange food? Because if so, then get into this chocolatey coating, baby. Orange pretzel number one going in my mouth. Oh. Mmm, mm-hmm. I'm getting a lot of white fudge action and a little bit of pumpkin spice on the tail end. <laughs> I like it though, as you can see by my arm movement. Um, yeah. Like I said, mostly a white fudge flavor here. I'm not totally like blown away by the pumpkin spice aspect of it, but that's probably a good thing because it can go too far for sure. You don't want it to be too spicy. It's still very sweet and salty, like you would want from such a treat. Upon having a second pretzel, that cinnamon and nutmeg starts to build up a little bit. I can always tell when something is nutmeg because when I was a teenager, I read that you can add like a whole bottle of ground up nutmeg to ice cream or something and it gets you like kind of high. And I was like, I'm gonna try it. Don't do that. It just hurts your body. But yeah, that tastes like nutmeg. Okay, I'm gonna grab my laundry now. You guys, it's Halloween. This is Halloween, Halloween. This is Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna stop singing that and keep eating foods. What are you sir? Next up we have some candy corn crunch trail mix. For when I'm hiking the great desert mountains, you've gotta have some festival fall energy. 
Mmm, smells like peanuts mixed with candy corn. You know how everyone has asked for that for centuries. This has honey roasted peanuts, candy corn, raisins, white chocolate pretzel ball. White chocolate pretzel ball. Okay, let me just try everything as a handful because that's how you're supposed to eat trail mix. Where's candy corn? All right, candy corn crunch. Wow. Crunching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a really good trail mix. You know, the candy corn doesn't stand out as much as the crunchy pretzel balls. The candy corn definitely gets blended in with the sweetness of the raisins and the chocolate balls. <clears throat> but yeah, all in all, a nice balance of flavors and textures for a trail mix. Not the kind of trail mix you would want to eat if you're like needing nutrition probably because it's really high in sugar. But if you don't care, like me, then it's great. Next up, we have Hershey's Caramel Apple Filled Milk Chocolates. Look at how cute these little apples are. These are both naturally and artificially flavored, okay? Natural caramel flavor, I'm guessing, and artificial apple. It was likely the case. Let's see what these caramel filled treats taste like. I don't like this at all. This tastes like Easter candy that nobody wants. Um, yeah, the caramel inside has an apple flavoring to it. Mm. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the flavor that nobody asked for at Hershey's. They probably did some sort of pumpkin spice flavored thing, which I could not find. And they were like, we can't just release one seasonal flavor. Let's do the caramel apple filled chocolates to give the kids all the sweet treats this Halloween. Unfortunately, the fake fruit apple flavor for me just sticks out like a sore thumb. So I give it a thumbs down, okay? Ah, that's what I think of apples. An apple a day keeps me angry. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Next we have some caramel apple caramel corn. You guys, did you know that caramel apples are the mascot? Cause they are. If it's not caramel apple flavored, get the hell out of here. It's not Halloween. <gasps> I love caramel corn, especially caramel corn that has big chunks of undistributed caramel like that. Cause that's my favorite. Crispy, chunky caramel corn covered in caramel. But again, I'm worried that they added apple flavoring to this. Let's see. This has sliced apple chips. That's what those big chunks are. Okay, so maybe there is no artificial apple flavor. Nope, just buttery caramel paired with apple slices. That's fun and festive and not artificial. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that is so right on my mouth. This product is actually very innovative. They just took their caramel corn, added apple chips, so it gives you a true authentic apple taste when you get a piece in there. It's kind of cooked throughout the caramel, but it tastes very natural. And when you chew the apple chip, you get that burst of fresh fruity sweetness, like a dehydrated apple would taste, and it gives you a very authentic caramel apple flavor. It tastes like a real caramel apple. And it kind of reminds me of like Cracker Jacks. That's much better than the other thing that I threw all over the place. Blech. I love that. That's a fun snack. For the movie watching times, I'll put that aside to watch with movies. Where should I go next? Let's see. Oh, you guys. I saw these on Instagram and I had to get them. They're M&M Cocoa Crispy flavored versions, which I think it's supposed to be like modeled after some sort of Cocoa Crisp cereal. But what I read on Instagram was that it's actually like a crispy m and M&M, but dark chocolate. So I thought that sounded very grown up and mature. And I love crispy m and M. Crispy m and M's are my favorite one and you need to know. All right, let's try one. Ooh, just as promised, the dark chocolate crispy M&M. In case they don't have crispy M&Ms where you live, that's what the interior of crispy M&M looks like. It's crispy. Ah. And these have a nice dark chocolate taste. It's a little less sweet than the milk chocolate crispy M&Ms. A little more rich, almost like a chocolate fudge flavor. So it's not like expensive dark chocolate, but it is a darker, bolder taste than regular M&Ms. Are you more dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Let me know in the comments below if you're dark or milk chocolate this Halloween. My sister, I think, would like these. She's really into dark chocolate, but maybe not because it's a little fudgy. Jill, Melanie, tell me. Chocolate, dark or chocolate, milk? Let me know. Next. What is this? I love these little skeleton bones. I can't pretend like I don't know what these are going to taste like. They taste like sugar, but I just think they're so cool, and I love the container. Mm, mm. Let me not use my teeth. You guys are so right to yell at me when I use my teeth to open things. You told me to use nail clippers, and that's smart, but I don't have those. I mean, I do, but they're over there. Okay. Ugh, this is taking forever to open. Welcome to my science lab where the bones are bloody and the candy is succulent. <laughs> <laughs> this is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. <laughs> All right, let's try some bone hard candies. 
I'm gonna throw them up in my mouth like a pro. Ooh, yum. It's like a sweetheart, but it tastes like a white airhead. Do you like white airheads? The mystery flavor? These are really good. No, that one tasted like strawberry jello. Yeah, I think they all have slightly different flavors. Nope, they all seem to have that strawberry jello flavor. Neat. That was a good find. I'm glad we did that. Let's keep going. Next, I have these Milano pumpkin spice flavored Milanos. Milano cookies are one of my favorite. The mint, the regular, those are all good. This one seems to have a layer of orange filling because orange is the color of pumpkin spice. I don't know if you noticed, that's the color. Oh. You know, leaves me cold. The pumpkin spice flavor is not strong enough and therefore it's a little aggravating. It's like teasing a real Milano cookie, but not following through. Look at that. That's a weak attempt, Milano, I'm sorry. Milano, you know that come Christmas time I'm gonna get the peppermint ones of these. I'm gonna get the candy cane flavored things. I'm gonna get the gingerbread menu cell. I'm with you all season for Christmas, but this, come back again. Come correct next time. Reflavor your pumpkin spices. Find your food chemist who manufactures orange flavors and tell him to get working early this year. Okay, this next piece of material requires a little bit of extra work because it's a mug cake which I don't know if you know what that is, but it's a quick little cake you can make in a mug. And in this case, we have pumpkin spice cake with cream cheese icing. You guys, let me go find a mug. I'll microwave the cake and then we'll add the icing together because I want you to feel included this Halloween. This is Halloween. It said that I only had to add three tablespoons of water and microwave it for 30 seconds. And I'm like, what's a tablespoon? But I did just eyeball it and it looks like it came out really good. It's low down in the mug there, but I promise you that's a fragrant cooked cake. Let's add some cream cheese Einstein. It says to knead this topping and add it to the cake. It also says that this contains dairy. You know what? I'm not sure anything we've had today doesn't contain dairy. We just have to get over it. If you're not into dairy, you can't do Halloween. I'm just kidding, of course, you can't. Here's my icing. Squeeze. I don't think you're supposed to do it in any particular shape, because like, what would that even, how, who would that help? Let me try the icing on its own. I'm the king of sucking out icing packets. Ooh, I'm sad that that's on the internet, that quote. Mmm, cream cheesy, very sweet. I'm glad that that's so sweet, because the cake smells very spicy. Kind of a lot of maple in there too. Let's carve in there and see what it's like. Ah! My Cheerios. Okay, let's dig in to our cake and eat it too. Wow, steaming, steaming hot treat of a mug. Do you see that? That looks pretty good, right? Do you see the steam? Do you see the steam on my icing bite? It looks like a fully cooked cake. It looks really well done. Got a good bake on it. <laughs> Maybe it's a little soggy on the side. Probably could have done a few more seconds, but let's find out. Mmm. Oh my god, that was too big of a bite, but yeah. Now I buy a lot of these mug cakes. I buy the molten chocolate, the salted caramel mug cakes. I got the birthday cake, funfetti ones, but this is the best one I've had so far. The icing with the cake, it's like eating a cinnamon bun, but slightly more pumpkin spice. Like I'm really getting more maple cinnamon than pumpkin spice, but the cream cheese frosting is really the standout here. Mmm, it's very satisfying too. It's like between the icing and the cake, it's very rich. I feel sick. Uh -huh. Somebody has to find me this Betty Crocker and give her my compliments. Ooh, that was a good mug cake, you guys. Very into it, very much down for it. <clears throat> now for a grand finale. It's everyone's favorite cereal, pumpkin sunny nut. Well, no, ooh. Everyone's favorite cereal, Cheerios. Also got into the pumpkin spice game this time around, baby. So let me quickly pour a bowl with some milk and we can get the full breakfast experience. As you can see, I poured a very small bowl here because as I said, my stomach hurts so much and these do not smell good, okay? That's just my first impression. Let me add some milk. Good. My milk of choice is Trader Joe's Unsweetened Vanilla Almond Beverage. Again, there's a little bit of that traditional Cheerios wheat smell, and then there's like a pumpkin spice contingency with a nutmeg nightmare happening in the background. Because that's what fall and pumpkin spice is all about. Here we go, pumpkin spice Cheerios. Mm -mm. I don't like that very much at all. Let me try one more bite. Mm-mm, mm. 
that to me the flavor is all off there it's way too spicy right on the nose when you eat it it's like nutmeg right in your face and then it immediately disappears and they become less flavorful than actual Cheerios yeah a spicy almost metallic taste at the top and then cardboard sort of reminds me of golden crisp remember that old cereal but it's even worse it's no good wow I can't believe we ate our way through an entire Halloween feast today. I feel weird, how do you feel? I would love to know what your favorite picks are from out here. Like I said, I love the mug cake. The candy corn, the apple caramel corn was really good as well. I gotta say I'm not in favor of the pumpkin spice Milanos or the Cheerios. And the creepy cocoa crisp M&Ms. I can see why other people are so crazy about this on Instagram, but it's not like my favorite M&M flavor. I would rather just get regular crispy M&Ms if it's me. And then I was surprised to find how many pumpkin spice things are just like basically a cash grab. Like this candy corn trail mix. Basically just trail mix they added some extra candy corn to. I see what you're doing, Archer Farms of Target, and I will buy it. I already did. Are you guys excited for Halloween? What do you plan to do to celebrate? Are you going to pick up any of these treats? Let me know in the comments below, but most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. You can also click thumbs up to see more Halloween content just like this or check out my Halloween playlist but most yeah like I said I would love to have you click subscribe two videos a week you guys are all the greatest thank you for celebrating Halloween by getting like sickeningly full of sugar and carbs with me today I will see you next time